Let's go ahead and learn how to use JavaScript using Visual Studio. So in order to understand what JavaScript is, let's understand what we do when we put web pages out on the internet. First of all, in order to make our web page, we use something called HTML. HTML, that's the markup language we use that provides structure or meaning for our web page. When we say markup language, that's because HTML is made up of tags. Usually you'll see a less than sign and then a special word and then a greater than sign. And then if you have an opening tag, a lot of times you're going to have a closing tag. And that'll be a less than sign, a slash, and then the same name as that tag you used before and then a greater than sign. It's almost like a curly brace, an opening curly brace and co closing curly brace in uh, C sharp. It defines a structure or an area and that's what our HTML tags do for us. They allow us to define paragraphs and headings and divs and images and links and videos and everything you see on a web page that we do with, with uh, using an HTML tag. The other thing we use is called CSS, Cascading Style Sheets. And these are the rules that we use that apply to HTML. And they allow us to define how the HTML looks and works. So if we think about this, if you've seen all the other videos on C Sharp, we can almost think of HTML tag as being an object, and then the CSS being the attribute for the object. In other words, the CSS attribute will describe how the HTML object will work. What is its background color? What is its foreground color? What's the font? What's the position? What's the layout? So the CSS describes how the tag looks. And then to make interaction or to dynamically change the HTML, we can use what they call JavaScript. JavaScript is a scripting language. Some people like to call it a programming language, but we more often refer to it as a scripting language. And in that scripting language, we can actually control how the web page looks, how the web page works. And so what happens is when our HTML and CSS are brought together, we can put JavaScript in that same file and the JavaScript can be executed by your browser, whether it's Chrome or Firefox or whatever browser you're using, and it will execute that JavaScript when it finds it on the web page. Now JavaScript is what we call an interpreted language. That means you don't have to go and compile all the JavaScript and fix all the errors. In JavaScript, if your browser finds an error in the JavaScript, it just ignores it and keeps going. JavaScript is also client-side, at least the JavaScript we're going to use, and that's because it's going to interact on your browser on your laptop or your desktop rather than on the server where all the data is stored. So how do we actually work with JavaScript with our HTML and CSS? First thing I want you to do is go create a brand new project. File new project. And now within this project we're doing Visual C Sharp but I want you to click on web. And then in this web you're going to choose ASP.NET Web Application .NET Framework. Make sure you choose .NET Framework and not Core. You want .NET Framework. And then let's give it a name. Let's call it My First Web. And we'll go ahead and click OK. And then it says, well, what type of web app do you want to make? You want to make a web forms or an MVC or API. There's a whole bunch of cool stuff you can make with Visual Studio, but we want to just work with empty right now. So choose empty and then click OK. And now it's going to go out and create the structure of our web page. And then we'll be able to start writing our HTML and CSS if we wanted and JavaScript. So here is our structure. Let's go ahead and close down that page. We don't need it open. I want to come over to my Solution Explorer and I want to right mouse click on that project and I want to choose Add and I want a new item. 
add new item or I could have just said add HTML page and we can call it whatever we want I'm gonna call mine index and I'll click OK and it's gonna go make that page now if you notice I didn't have to say dot HTML because I already said I wanted to make an HTML page and here's the actual file that we just made and here's the contents of it so let's understand what this means that tag says that I, I'm do, using HTML5 and that's just something that we like to include on in our web pages so that the browsers know how to interact with our page next thing I want you to notice is that all of the HTML that you're gonna write is inside of an opening HTML and a closing HTML tag notice the difference opening just has less than HTML greater than and then closing has less than backslash or forward slash sorry HTML and closing that says that you're gonna write an HTML page now within the HTML page itself we usually have two sections we have a head section and we use an opening head tag and a closing head tag and a body section opening and closing and I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this we're just gonna keep it really simple for right now sorry I'll get rid of the the meta line we'll worry about that later and then we have what they call a title notice that the title it's an opening and closing and that title we're just gonna type in my first page and that'll be inside of the title tag and that title tag if you notice goes inside of the head tag now what is the title tag for that's the title that will actually show up in the browser toolbar and so it provides a title for your HTML web page and it's also used in search engine results then here's the body now in the body we can do anything we want we could say p tag and that p tag says I am a paragraph and we could also do an h1 tag and say I am a header one and let's go ahead and do another one let's do a header two tag h2 I am a header two and I'm gonna go ahead and save that and I'm gonna build it by clicking on build build my first web and it's gonna go through and tell us if everything looks okay which hopefully it does since hard, I hardly did anything to it and then after it builds I'm gonna go ahead and run it in Google Chrome and let's see what happens so we should have a web page that shows up with the title of my first page and then we should see a P tag a paragraph tag that says I'm a paragraph a header one tag and a header two tag and that's just HTML and so now what we could do I'm gonna close that we'll come back over to here let's write some JavaScript and add some interaction or functionality to this web page so we're going to be able to write HTML pages and CSS and JavaScript right inside of Visual Studio but I want to show you one more thing before we keep going go ahead and run your web page one more time so I clicked on the Google Chrome and it's going to run our web page and now that we're looking at Google Chrome I want to press control shift I and control shift I says this is the inspector in Chrome and it allows you to inspect or watch what your HTML is doing for instance under elements I can go ahead and see that this is the HTML I'm looking at and as I go ahead and put my cursor down each of the HTML tags I can see off to the left what is happening for instance when I put it on HTML I see the whole page If I put it on I am a paragraph I see the P tag the H1 tag the H2 tag and that's quite exciting I mean I could see what my web page is doing and not only that but off to the right I can see what styles from CSS are applied to it and this is just default because I didn't write any CSS yet and you can see the box model associated with it which says what are the padding what's the border and what's the margins around that tag and you can click on the console window the console window says 
This is almost like running a console window in C Sharp. I can type things in and interact with that web page. For instance, I can type in the word console dot log hello that's within double quotes and press enter and it will actually return something back. I can type JavaScript in this window and actually execute it and make it do stuff. Alert. Click or lick. Click on me. And it pops up a window. I can click OK. I can create a variable. Come down here and I can say a variable var inum equals five semicolon alert which does a pop-up window the variable inum inside of a parenthesis enter and it shows my variable five in a pop-up window and so the console window itself allows you to run different JavaScript statements just to see how things work so let's go ahead and move on from there but once again the way you get to that Control Shift I will open it and Control Shift I can close it. It just and the elements allows you to see your HTML and the console allows you to type in and interact with JavaScript. Now this isn't really how you're going to write JavaScript, but this is a great way later on we can watch and see if our JavaScript works. So let's go ahead and stop running that window and let's come back over to our HTML page and let's see what we can actually do with JavaScript in an HTML page. So let's learn how to execute JavaScript. Just like HTML uses tags for dis defining the structure of the web page, we can also use a script tag. The script tag says you can write JavaScript. Let's go ahead and type in the word alert, double quote, hello, inside a parenthesis and a semicolon. This is JavaScript syntax. This now says, go run this web page. We put it in the head section, and it's going to go ahead and do a pop-up window and then finish loading the page. Let's see how Chrome works. So go ahead and run it. And first thing that happens is we see our pop-up window. It's waiting for me to continue. And now it displays the web page. Let's try it in Firefox and just click on this arrow and choose Firefox and see if there's any difference. Run it one more time. It does the alert box and then it does the web page. And so when you write JavaScript, you put it inside of a script tag, an opening and a closing tag. Now that script tag was in the head section. Let's go see what happens if I put it down in the body section. And I'll put it at the very bottom of the body section. And let's go ahead and run it one more time. I'm going to run it with Chrome first. And let's see what happens. And it looks like functionality running in Chrome is pretty much the same, where we see the pop up box and then we see the web page. Let's try running it in Firefox and see what happens. And this is a little different, right? We've got our box. Go back to the page. We saw the page actually show up with the box that was behind there. And so a lot of times it depends on what browser you're using and when it will run. Let's see what happens if we put our script tag outside of the body. And now it says, wait, you can't do that. You can't put a script tag inside of HTML. It has to either be in the head or in the body. Now what people usually recommend is that when you make your JavaScript, you'll put it either in a different file or you put it in the body and you put it as one of the last thing that's going to happen. So once again, this is how you work with JavaScript in Visual Studio. You go and create a brand new project. You make a web project. You add a brand new HTML page and then you can add whatever HTML you want and then you can add JavaScript by using your script tag opening and closing tag 
And by you learning JavaScript now, you're going to be able to make your web page interactive.